Now I'm going to tell you the story of Pesach. A long time ago, B'nai Yisrael lived in a place called Mitzrayim. And in Mitzrayim, there was a king named Paro. He wasn't very nice to the Jews. He made them work for him. And they were called slaves. He made them work very, very hard. And they would build cities for him. The mommies, the daddy, the children, everyone was working and building and they didn't get breaks and they just worked and worked and worked. Also at that time, Paro said, there can be no more Jewish baby boys. So there was a mommy. Her name was Yocheved, and she was going to have a baby. Now her big daughter, Miriam, she said, you should have the baby, but we are going to hide the baby. So she helped her mommy hide their new baby. But when the baby started to get older, they couldn't hide him anymore. So the big sister had an idea. She got a little basket and she waterproofed the basket and she put the baby inside and she said, Mommy, don't worry. I'm going to make sure that your baby is safe. So she put the baby in the basket, wrapped him up and put him into the river. And she watched that baby as the baby floated down the river and she hid in the tall grass on the side of the river and she walked along and she walked along and she kept her eyes on the basket and she saw where the basket went. And she saw that the basket went, it floated all the way to the front of the palace where Batya, that's the daughter of Paro, was taking a bath. And when she saw the basket and she heard the baby crying, she stretched out her hand and she saw it was a little baby. And she picked up that baby and she said, oh, I want that baby to be mine. And then all of a sudden, Miriam, the big sister, popped out of the tall grass and said, oh, I know someone who can feed your baby. Her name is Yocheved. She's a Jewish lady. So Batya said, okay, you can take my baby and, and you can bring this baby to Yocheved so she can feed the baby. But when the baby is big enough to eat regular food, bring this baby back to me. And I am going to call this baby Moshe. Moshe. 